what's happening good people what's nice it's happening it's young pd pablo you know they call me the gentleman dirty martini if it's right you stereotype don't be afraid <laughs> but this is what it is so uh Cam just asked me to make a little drink and I just thought that, hey, if you're going to make a drink, you're doing something that's right. Beautiful spirit. It's got six edges. You know what that is. That's a hexagon. That just makes it Roku. Okay. You can't go wrong because, hey, the ingredients are beautifully picked, picked in all different seasons. And with that, it just all brings a beautiful element to what the gin is. But, hey, guys, what I'm going to be making is I'm going to be making, a, what's the name of this drink? Never good with names, but I think it's called something Asian. You gin, why gin? So, you gin, it's a... Um, Subtly profound grace and uh, refined elegance. Something that uh, apparently they say that I got a bit of that with uh, this unique and crazy uncontrolled style that I have that I don't really know I, I got, but uh, we're gonna keep it clean. And what we need for this drink, guys, it's a classic drink that we're just changing up and uh, we've just uh, brought some really cool elements to it. I'm gonna make classic Negroni, but this Negroni, we've actually infused our grapefruit in with some Campari, so with our bitters. So we've infused our grapefruit with our bitters and that like just brings it a more citrus element and that pairs well with the yuzu. So let's make this thing. What we need is, you guys got this bad boy in your box, so get it out, put it together. You don't need this part, you can put it to the side for now. That's to the side, let's get ice in here. One thing I saw is that earlier Gab said this is her place. She's lying. I'm making her a drink in my place. This is my posy, right? I chilled the glass because I saw that something she did. But I also got something a bit naughty. And I asked the boy Ryan to cut me some beautiful ice. So we got a nice little ice block in there. So it's a bit out of out of story and out of nature. And what we're going to do, guys, we're going to start with our Roku. Our Roku, you can always go enough and you can't go too dirty with it. But in the growing, what it is, it's equal parts, three equal parts. 25, 25, 25. I'm going to be a bit naughty and I'm going to do what I want to do. So I'm going to go 30, 30, 30. Ha <laughs> ha, right? Bang a young two on there. Got two glasses. Make sure enough people can also have it. Bam. So you get your gin in there. Start that off. Get that down. Guys, but look at how beautiful this bottle is. It's not me. Hey, it's the bottle. That's not me. But look. Hey, okay. Get your compari. You get this bad boy bottle. Hey, you get your bottle. You get your bottle. Then you get your bitter vermouth. Guys, you get your bitter aperitif. And then your bitter aperitif, it's got some grapefruit in there. So it has like a beautiful note of citrus that's just coming out. That's what you need. And with this, I'm just going to go 40. And then finish it off with some sweet vermouth. And that's just going to like just give us a beautiful coat in the mouth. And it's a bit different. This is like a more elegant drink. If you want something that you're just going to sit to, relax, tell a story, maybe get some crackers out. I don't know if that's what you guys do. For me, you see, give it a stir. For me, I don't really tell crackers, but uh, we're not going to stir that one. I was getting the hand stuff. <laughs> give it a stir. And like the stir, the stir is a beautiful one, right? Once you get this like bar spoon of yours, Get your fingers and just gonna clap it in so five fingers touch down clap it in boom once you have this and all you're doing is just moving your wrist make sure at the back of your bar spoon is to the back there and then all it is is just going to move in your fingers that's what it is it's designed for you it's designed to be easy so allow it to be don't force it don't force it don't rush with it right bang happy days so oof. look it's not just for camera it's for you too right happy days so now that we've got that going, the trick is don't stir too long because you don't want this to be watered down. You just want it to have that beautiful color, that beautiful lush. Boom. Then we bang it again. Level up. Oof. I don't know if it's me, but I say this is a power looking door, eh? It's a power looking drink. What do they call it in a, in Roku language? I'm not going to say it, sorry. <laughs> Oh, just have a good time. You're at home, so do what you have to do. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off. We've got some grapefruit here. Dehydrated grapefruit. You also do have some fresh grapefruit. So what I like to do is I just like to take the fresh, the dehydrated, bang it out, drop it on top, nice and easy. Then we take the fresh one, if it be, uh, and then we'll take the, the hedgehog, right? So something like this is actually nice because what we're going to do is we're just going to get some, just some essence, beautiful essence of our citrus so it's fresh it has that that oil that's what you want you want to just add a bit more of that and i'm going to go again on top here you know so you can either go with like if you got a hedgehog use it if you don't have a hedgehog just take a knife cut a bit out there 
just give it an expression and you're good to go. That's me. Hey, I, I, I'm going to take this. You guys leave that. See you later.